This Xbox 360 controller has got quite a common problem. The thumbsticks are either stuck, sometimes they just wobble around, don't do anything. This is a really easy fix. You just need a T8 Torx screwdriver and a bit of patience. I'll show you how to do it. The first thing we need to do is to remove six screws. So one, two, three, and the same on the other side. Four, five, six. Once you've removed your six screws from the back here, take off the battery and you will find a um, barcode on the back here. If you just gently peel the barcode back, and I'll use these just to grab hold of it a bit easier and pull it back, you'll find the sneaky screw under there. I don't know if you can see that. Remove that screw. That's the only thing holding it on at the moment. Once you've removed all the screws, you need to take this back off. Now just do it gently and don't panic if it sounds like anything's falling off. Everything goes back together in here. What you want to look out for is these buttons will need to be pressed down, otherwise they'll get in the way. And also these um, springs um, don't pull too much because they're going to be attached inside. So we're just going to pull it over it. So if you gently hold the top and wiggle it till it comes off, you will see that I need to press these buttons and then the back totally comes off. If you gently lift up this motherboard, you will notice that where the thumbsticks are supposed to be attached, there and there to these sticks, they're not, which is why they're not working properly. So gently take the thumbsticks out of the front and pop them back on. It's as easy as that. There's only one way really they go back on, so it's fairly simple. Take the other one out. Pop that back on. Now, the odd time, you can't repair them because the stick inside is actually snapped. Um, but most of the time, you'll find that it's just because they are, they've popped off. So it's easy as that. And we'll just slowly put it back together in the opposite way. Put your motherboard back in to position. Now we'll pop our back back on. Um, go over the top buttons first. Make sure they're in place. And then be careful when you do this bit because you've got your springs that you want inside the battery holder. So just gently push those in. I'm ready for it all back into place. You just hold it together before you put your screws in and just lift it up and check that your thumbsticks are working properly before you put all your screws back in and they seem fine. And as you're holding it together make sure the first thing you do is just pop that screw into the centre there. Secure that in nice and early. There we go. Bring that in together. You'll feel it tightening up in your hands. Pop your barcode back down and then pop in your other six screws. And there we have it. Our working Xbox controller fixed, which has saved us about £25 the woman's way.